So I'm a nursing student and this year we came across this new term called comfort care. And basically what comfort care is, is the patient is terminally ill, so the family and the healthcare team decides, okay, we're not going to do any aggressive means of medical care, we're going to keep the patient comfortable. And so no vital, no vital signs are checked, um, no physical assessments, no diagnostic procedures, no lab results, nothing, just, you know, pain meds and comfort care. And when I first came across this new ideology or new method of care, I was very uncomfortable because I thought of myself as a hero in scrubs. And so this very passive um, means of caring for patients really disturbed me. And so I began to think about it and dig a little deeper. And I started connecting it with our spiritual walk. And I realized that so many of us as Christians are living in this comfort care mode, you know, keep the saints comfortable until they eventually perish, which I believe is engineered by the devil himself. What do I mean by this? There's no time for self-reflection, no um, seeing the great physician, no assessment of our lives to see where our true spiritual condition lies. And as I was thinking of this, I realized that the gospel is an aggressive means of restoring us from our state of sin. When you look at God who left heaven and came to earth as a man to restore us, there's nothing comfortable or passive about that method of salvation. So our battle against sin and our battle against self has to be aggressive. As I began to think about it more, I, I realized that in my own life, I had become accustomed to maintaining status quo, to walking and talking and acting like a Christian, but not really identifying my, my true spiritual condition and really knowing how my connection with God was going. But when you look at the life of Jacob, there's a story that really stands out to me, and it's found in Genesis chapter 32. And you find Jacob is going back to meet with Esau, and he's coming to a point where all of his sins are coming together, and he has to really deal with the consequences. And so he sends his family over the river, and he stays behind to pray and wrestle with God. And the Bible tells us that Jacob wrestled with God all night. And when you read verse 26, you find that Jacob is wrestling with God, and God says, let me go, for the morning has come. And Jacob says, I will not let you go until you bless me. And when you read this verse, you find that we need that same approach to life because sin is so rampant all around us and we cannot fight it on our own. But rather than coming to this comfort care mode and really just becoming passive with our sin, we need to be like Jacob and really cling to the foot of the cross, really cling to God and say, I will not let you go until you bless me. We need to be more aggressive and purposeful in our walk. You see, Friends, the Bible calls us to wrestle with God. The Bible calls us to pray because we wrestle not against flesh, but against principalities. In Ephesians 6, it tells us um, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness in this world, against wickedness in high places. This is not something that calls for passive or comfort care methods. It calls for an aggressive gospel. Friends, with God on our side, with a demonstration of love such as Calvary, how can we give up?